What's good, everybody? Guys, we're still on our desert road trip. We've been enjoying beautiful hikes, perfect weather in the middle of winter. But guess what? We got to Santa Fe, New Mexico, and we ran into this. It's cold! We've got all the normal gear of any van lifer. We've got the Espar heater cooking us up. We've got insulation. We know how to survive winter. But if you want to know how to thrive in winter when you're on the road, what do you do? Go to a hot spring. This is not gated off from like July to December, but it's a brutal five mile stretch of road. So we were planning to hike anyway. Well, obviously we're super snowed in, so we don't have a choice because the gate is closed. So we've got a five mile hike through the snow to get to the hot spring. If it pays off, it's going to be dynamite. And if it doesn't, it's going to be like, wow, we, we've hiked a while. <laughs> <laughs> also yesterday was Dash's first introduction to snow ever. And he was going crazy. So he's a happy, happy snow boy today. Do you love it, Dashi? You love the snow? You guys have seen us in Sedona the last few videos, and um, we had a few driving days to get here in New Mexico, and poor Dash, well, I shouldn't say poor Dash, he's been really spoiled. He was very confused why we weren't going on like three hikes every day all of a sudden. So he is so excited to be on another hike. Dash, come here. Oh, you excited to play in the snow? Oh. 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 That's one excited boy. Oh, my oh man. <laughs> if dogs had their own language, what would they call snow? You know? Would they call it like fun powder? Fluff, fluff. Fluff, fluff? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't Poof, know. Puff. Like what? What? How, what's the? I feel like dogs communicate in emotions. I don't know. What would you call it, Dash? What do you call snow? Happy powder, something like that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I've just never experienced a dog that doesn't love snow. Really? Well, but. So you grew up with dogs in the snow, and I didn't. Yeah, true. Yeah, they all love it. This is one of the first times I've seen a dog in the snow, oh, and he really? literally I've never seen a happy dog in my oh, life. Oh my god, they He's, all love it. Look at him. <laughs> 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 Come on, boy. <laughs> Dash. <laughs> He's digging for it. There's no ball there. Throw a snowball at him. <laughs> oh, he found it! <laughs> oh my god! What? I got it. Ready? Whoa, he actually found it. Ready for this one? <laughs> it's a whole different game, huh? The thing about hiking when it's cold is that you think you need about six layers to keep warm. But in reality, you need about one. It's 15 degrees out. I think I'm gonna hike in short sleeve. Wow. That's how much you heat up. Looking sexy. Oh, I'm feeling fresh, baby. It's, it's a hiking day. Can't wait till you shed all your layers at the hot springs. <laughs> I think I have the word that snow is. What? It's happy ploof. Happy ploof. <laughs> I love that. Hey, Dash. Um, I Stay over here in the happy ploof. I don't think <laughs> All right, down to one layer for that boy. Down to uh, one layer for me. I have nowhere to put my scarf, so my neck is just going to be extra warm today. Well, we found the stream. I hear water. Right down there, there's the river. There it is. I see one hot spring down there. Right there, the empty one? Yeah. I see the steam. <sighs> this altitude is killing me. We're here, good climb, babe. Nice job. Good climb. It's not too hot, just nice and warm. Warm and nice. How's it feel, guys? Oh my god. Unbelievable? Literally unbelievable. We're never leaving. Never. Look at this view, too. <laughs> Are you mad at us for making you get warm? You're teaching him the ways of relaxation? 
So this guy, he's just naturally scared of anything he hasn't seen before. Yep. So he came off of being the most excited kid ever for a hike, <laughs> to all of a sudden not wanting to go to the nice warm water. Look at you. you Look at you. Guys. A week or so before we left oh. on this trip, we took him on a hike in Austin, and he was so scared. Like, I think he'd been on hikes before, but just not enough to, like, really familiarize himself with it. So he was pretty scared of all the people and the dogs that he saw. And so now he's been on enough hikes, he knows they're dope. They're so legit. But he has never been in a hot spring. Whole new experience. Whole new experience. He, he like, doesn't want to give himself the leeway to lay down, because this is only, like, <laughs> you know, this deep. Yeah. And it's not even that hot, just warm. But he's so tired from the, from the big five-mile hike that he's, like... Eyes are fluttering, but he still has to sit up. Look at this. Oh, little squinty eyes. Oh, we want to go to sleep. Oh. I am pretty proud of this boy, though. You guys saw in our first video with him where we introduced you to him. He was very scared, unsure, not really sure of the van, but he has owned it, dude. That owned van it. is his van. He owns the van. Dude. And he loves hikes. He loves going on adventures with us. I'm pretty proud of this boy. I think I've hit peak relaxation. Hot springs are something that like a lot of people do, a lot of van lifers do. We never have. Not we the van. to do it more. How's breakfast? Delicious. Delicious? We saw um, one of our previous videos. We did this overnight oats with Tom. Never fails. Total game changer. Total game changer. Well, since we're out here in nature, nature's given us, you know, already a steam bath, I thought, you know what, nature's also given us some uh, very exfoliating little lotion here in the form of rough rocks. <laughs> this actually feels amazing. So might as well do a little exfoliation. Are you gonna such, treat yourself there. Treat yourself to a nice hike, a nice pomegranate meal, some avocado toast, some time with your baby, some exfoliation, some relaxation. Woo. This is like a perfect day, man. Seriously, this is like my favorite day I've had in a long, long time. I know, and it's uh, very needed. For those of you guys who have chosen to tune into this video, I'll um, share a little secret with you. We are off to Mexico next, but it's gonna take some preparation. We have to do some things to the van, we have to get things kind of uh, wrapped up and ready to go at home. And so we are ready to go on a, or we're getting ready to go on a long drive uh, back to Austin, to our house, where we will prep for everything and then we're heading to Mexico. So this is kind of the last day that we have until uh, we're traveling again where we can just relax, you know, have fun in nature's spa. This boy is just going at it. <laughs> Not one inch is going to be left uncovered. <laughs> this boy is having experiences that most humans dream of. That's true. And most humans want them and he's being convinced to have them. But he ends up liking them. Eventually, I don't know if we're gonna stay at this hot springs long enough for him to, you know, get in full exfoliation mode, mode though. Do you want your apple? Sure. I can't move my hands because I'm too relaxed. Oh. <laughs> this boy, see the little bird in the steam in the distance? Oh, Dash. Don't ruin the spa day, just relax. The birds yeah, will take care of themselves, dude. Come on, Mr. Dash. This kid has finally figured it out. What do you think of this, babe? Unreal. Who knew, man? New Mexico. It's amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, that was an amazing couple hours soak. How are you feeling? I am feeling literally amazing. I feel like I just went to the spa. I know. Yeah, I actually do. All, All right. Let's go. Keep going. about an hour and 15 minutes until sunset. The hike in took us about three hours. So this could be a little interesting. It is getting cold and dark fast. And we are at the half mile checkpoint. You can see the sun setting behind those trees. We still got a long way to go. Somewhere have you gone? I am so cold. Of all your songs, that was one of the more questionable. I'm hoping we're close. I think we are. You think so? Yeah. There's an actual snowball in here. Trust me, dude. Guess you put that actual snowball in there. The sun is on its uh, last leg of the day. And so are we. <sighs> I just can't wait for a warm 
heater and a good meal. Actually, a good meal is the biggest thing. Warm heater is the biggest thing for me. We made it. That's one happy girl, ready for her heater. Yeah. Don't wipe out and fall in the snow. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> hey, Dash, you ready to be home? Yay! All right, so babe. Ready. You ready? Oh, yeah. We made it before dark. I'm so proud of us. Nice. nice. How are those toes, Farron? Oh, they are our chilly little boys. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the skeeter being on. You need to put your toes. Well, it's not hot yet, is it? Let's see. Oh, it's warm then. Um, warmer than your toes, probably. Okay. Here ends our little desert road trip. I know it's only a few videos, it was only a few weeks, <laughs> but we sure enjoyed it. We didn't share all of it, but we shared some of our highlights and we really liked being out on the road with a dog. This, unfortunately, <laughs> ends our time with Dash. We are headed down to Mexico. Next video you see, we'll be in Austin preparing for Mexico, telling you a little bit about our trip. Well guys, I hope you're excited to see more Mexico content from us. New year, new Mexico trip. You know how it is around here. <laughs> we'll see you guys new then. New Mexico, get it? New Mexico. Right oh, new good Mexico. one, babe. Good one. All right, bye.